Good day everyone! Today, we're going to study subtraction with zero difficulty. Did you know that, like adding numbers, subtracting numbers is also part of our daily lives? Just like in giving change after the payment. So look at this example. Marco bought 3 cans of pineapple juice for 288 pesos. How much change will he get from 500 pesos? In able to solve this, we will have this equation. 500 minus 288 equals N. As you can see, in our minuend, we have zeros. And we cannot subtract 8 from 0. That's why we're going to have subtraction with zero difficulty. In solving subtraction with zero difficulty, we have two strategies. The traditional method and the minus 1 method. Let's have first the traditional method. We have 500 minus 288. All we need to do here in traditional method is to borrow 1 to the first non-zero digit, which is 5. So from 5, 5 will become 4. Then the first zero from the left will become 10. Then we need to borrow 1 from 10. 10 will become 9. So that the first zero from the right will become 10. So we can now subtract them. 10 minus 8 equals? Very good, that is 2. Then 9 minus 8 equals? Good job, it's 1. Then 4 minus 2 equals? Fantastic, it's 2. So his change is 212 pesos. Let's proceed to the minus 1 method. For the minus 1 method, we have 500 minus 288. All we need to do is to subtract 1 from the minimum. So 500 will become 499. And also subtract 1 from the subtrahend. So 288 will become 287. We can now subtract them. Let's start from the ones, please. 9 minus 7 equals. Very good, it's 2. Then 9 minus 8 equals. Good job, children. It's 1. Then 4 minus 2 equals. Very good. It's 2. So his change is 212 pesos. Again, in subtraction with zero difficulty, we have two strategies. The first one is the traditional method, and the second one is the minus one method. So let's have another example. I have here 9,000 minus 7,386. Let's use the minus 1 method. So 9,000 will become 8,999 because we subtract 1 from 9,000. Then 7,386 minus 1 is equal to 7,385. We can now subtract them. Let's start from the ones, please. So, 9 minus 5 equals 4. Then, 9 minus 8 equals 1. Then, 9 minus 3 equals... Very good, it's 6. Then, lastly, 8 minus 7 equals... Fantastic, it's 1. So, the difference is... 1,614. Let's have the next number. Let's use again the minus 1 method. Again, children, 80,000 will become 79,999. Then, 32,153 will become 32,152. Then, let's subtract them starting from the 1's place. 9 minus 2 equals 7. Then 9 minus 5 equals... Good job! It's 4. Then 9 minus 1 equals... Very good! It's 8. How about 9 minus 2? Excellent! It's 7. And lastly, 7 minus 3 equals... Fantastic! It's 4. So the difference is 
47,847. How about if I have this? 50,000 minus 32,153. This time, let's use the traditional method. Again, in traditional method, we're going to subtract or to borrow 1 from the first non-zero digit, which is digit 5. 5 will become 4. Then the first zero from the left will become 10. Then we need to borrow 1 from 10. So 10 will become 9. Then the zero at the hundreds place will become 10. Then let's borrow again 1 from 10. 10 will become 9. Then the zero at the tens place will become 10. And lastly, let's borrow 1 again from 10. 10 will become 9. Then 0 at the ones place will become 10. Or also, children, you can write it this way. As you can see, all the middle zeros became 9, and the first zero from the right or the zero at the ones place became 10. Is that clear? We can now subtract this number. So let's start from the ones place. 10 minus 3 equals 7. 9 minus 5 equals 4. 9 minus 1 equals... Very good, it's 8. Then 9 minus 2 equals 7. Then lastly, 4 minus 3 equals 1. So the difference is 17,847. How about if we have this? 32,000 minus 13,537. Again, children, let's use the traditional method. In traditional method, we're going to borrow 1 from the first non-zero digit, which is digit 2. 2 will become 1. Then all the middle zeros will become 9. Right? Then the first zero from the right or the zero from the ones place will become 10. So 10 minus 7 equals... Very good, it's 3. Then 9 minus 3 equals... Fantastic, it's 6. Then 9 minus 5 equals... Very good, it's 4. How about 1 minus 3? As you can see, 1 is smaller than 3. That's why we need to borrow 1 from 3 at the 10,000th place. So 3 will become 2. Then 1 will become 11. So 11 minus 3 equals... Very good, it's 8. Then 2 minus 1 equals... Fantastic, it's 1. So the difference is 18,463. So now, get your drill board. Find the difference of the following numbers. 70,000 minus 46,275. Write your answers on your drill board. Timer starts now.
Time's up. Let's see if your answer is correct. So as you can see, we're going to borrow one from the first non-zero digit, which is at digit 7. 7 will become 6, then all the middle zero will become 9, then the first zero from the right or the zero from the ones place will become 10. We can now subtract them. 10 minus 5 equals 5. 9 minus 7 equals 2. 9 minus 2 equals 7. 9 minus 6 equals 3. Then 6 minus 4 equals 2. So the difference is 23,725. Let's have the last number. 69,000 minus 54,329. Write your answers on your drill board. Timer starts now. Let's see if your answer is correct. Again, children, we're going to borrow one from the first non-zero digit, which is digit 9. 9 will become 8, then the middle zeros will become 9, then the zero from the ones place will become 10. So let's subtract. 10 minus 9 equals 1. 9 minus 2 equals 7. Then 9 minus 3 equals 6. Then 8 minus 4 equals 4. Then 6 minus 5 equals... Very good! It's 1. So the difference is 14,671. Always remember... We have two strategies in solving subtraction with zero difficulty, the traditional method and the minus one method. For the traditional method, borrow one from the first non-zero digit, and all the middle zeros will become nine, and the first zero from the right, or the zero from the ones place, will become ten. And for the minus one method, subtract one from the minuend, and subtract 1 also from the subtrahend.